Back in 2017, Eagle News interviewed Charles Weipsell, a comic book dealer from Honolulu. We asked him about the future of the old-fashioned comics in the digital age. Back then, and even now, two years later, he doesn't appear to be worried, and his business is showing no signs of slowing down. Um, it's still going really strong, um, thanks to the movies, you know. Um, uh, common people are exposed to superheroes more. Um, you know, I got people coming in asking for Captain Marvel stuff. Three, four years ago, the common person didn't know who Captain Marvel was, or that Captain Marvel is now a female instead of a male. Old collector comics are still going up in value every year. Um, you know, there's record sales for Amazing Spider-Man number one, Amazing Fantasy 15. Um, so the collectorship is still there as well too. Um, and we're seeing that some of the more offbeat characters are becoming popular now as well too, um, which is a good thing for the comic industry. At this year's Amazing Comic-Con Aloha, we asked the same question to both exhibitors and visitors alike. One of them was Daniel Wei, a comic writer visiting Hawaii, who believes that the movie industry is actually helping generate more public interest in comic books. I'd say that it's helping in that it raises the profile of these comic book properties. Um, print publishing is really supported by collectors, whereas you know, the folks that just see the movies, they're just consuming it as entertainment. There's no collectability. And even people that read uh, digital comics, it, they fall into that same character, uh, category. Um, a bunch of files on your computer isn't a collection. You can't get a computer file signed by the creators that worked on it. So there's always going to be that facet of, of comics. Michael, a Hawaii-based filmmaker, shares a similar opinion on a positive future for the comics. So I don't think comic books are going to go away. They've been around for a hundred years. Obviously now superheroes are in the mainstream, but I see the superhero films and the comics as two separate things. Superhero movies are a genre, comic books are a medium, you know, so I don't think comics are ever going to go away. And I think that the movies do help, you know, help bring in new fans, you know, so I think they both help each other out. I like owning them, so yes, I feel they have a future because I'm like a collector of things, so I just have a lot, so I enjoy them. I normally prefer comic books because they have like more of a story in them and I, I prefer art, so. I love comic books. I don't think that love is going to die anytime soon. Where there's a will, there's a way. Life will find a way. Comic books will find a way to survive. I love it. And what about those who wish to pursue a future in the comic book industry, whether an artist, writer, or business owner? These experts emphasize on marketing yourself and your products, as well as going back to the basics. Advice is nonetheless good advice, it's just produce work. Um, you can get a lot more eyeballs if you put your, your stuff online, um, but where you're going to have the most conversion is at conventions like this. And you're, so you're going to have to have an actual physical thing for people to buy or even look at. Um, the, the odds of them stopping by to look at a screen is pretty, pretty slim. Uh, but yeah, just get your work out there. Um, if nothing else, to just purge all the bad amateur ideas so that you're kind of ready when the opportunity to make a career of it presents itself. If you want to learn how to draw or with anything, photography, anything, you must start analog because there's certain things you can do in analog that will make that you don't get when you're working in digital. For instance, like if I'm sculpting something in clay, I can be a better sculptor if I can feel the clay and see how the clay moves versus doing it digitally in ZBrush. So I think that for younger kids, if you're really serious about learning your craft, learn how the masters did it. Start on paper, start with clay, start with the, you know, an actual camera. And then, as you go into digital, learn how you can use the foundation to make your artwork better. I tell people comics basically are for reading and enjoying. Um, a lot of times people get into the collecting part, and that's great if you want to do it, but if you buy a comic, read it and enjoy it, that's what comics are made for, that's what the artists draw them for, that's what the writers do them for. So find something that you like, something that appeals to you, be it a character, be it an artist, be it a writer and enjoy, buy them and enjoy them and read them. 
Whether you prefer hard copy or digital, what matters most is that the stories themselves will attract one generation of readers after another through various forms of media. Reporting from Honolulu, Hawaii, I'm Mio Senas, one with 25. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys like it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe here at EBC Digital Nest so you don't miss any of our upcoming features.